What's up everyone, it is BrickLiver18 here today in my LEGO room because I have a bunch of updates that I need to make to this room. This is going to be more like an update vlog and I'm just going to walk you through some of the things that are going to be happening. Let's get right into it. So as you guys know, I've been making a ton of content for YouTube and stuff like that recently, and as a result, my LEGO room has kind of become a little bit of a disaster. So one of the first things I'm going to be doing in today's video is working on the studio lights. So you can see some of them are off right now, and they've actually got uh, the screens taken off of them. That's because I did a little bit of an audit, and I went through and figured out what studio lights needed to be replaced. So as you guys know, once you have studio lights for so many years, some of the bulbs will go out, some of them have just been on for so long, the plastic coating around them cracked, and obviously I just want to get them replaced so it was not a fire hydrant. So I replaced four of them earlier this week, and I actually needed a few more. So I had to make another Amazon order and get some studio lights delivered. So I'm going to be opening them up now and getting them replaced. So here are the four lights here. They are a little bit smaller than the ones used to be. So I'm just going to pull them out. I only need actually two of them right now, which is perfect. The other two are going to go in storage uh, for the next time. So I'm going to go put those two lights into the studio. So this is what I mean by the studio lights breaking. These are the brutal, like they should not be doing this whatsoever. So I'm contacting the company to get a warranty on them because that's just, that's absolutely ridiculous. That should not be happening. So I ended up having to replace three of them instead of just the two that I originally thought, but that is okay because now the Lego room is looking awesome. And I do have a lot of the studio lights everywhere. So it makes sense that they are going to burn out over the years and crack eventually but like I said I'm gonna send that back to the company and hopefully get a replacement ball and I'll still have one for later on so looking looking good so next up I want to tackle the monitor situation you guys see I've got two monitors here for the behind the scenes kind of this is what it's looking like on where I'm, when I'm filming I have a new monitor that I want to put here now I just got a brand new monitor for work that I'm going to be using for when I connect to my laptop to because I need a bigger screen so now the monitor that I've been keeping on my personal desk I'm going to be moving in here and replacing that obviously with the work one so I had this Acer one here which was supposed to be for a secondary camera I've actually never used it and then I've got the main monitor here that's what my DSLR which is currently over there, normally sits on when I'm filming. So I'm planning to get rid of both of those and replace it with my Samsung, I believe it's a 27 inch monitor. It's a really good monitor. I really enjoyed editing videos and stuff like that on it. And I'm gonna replace it there because it'll be a much nicer view for the camera. So construction, or should I say deconstruction, is in full effect here at the studio. As you can see behind me, everything is a huge mess right now. I'm just trying to make it so it's a little bit more accessible when filming. I'm trying to make it so this light, one of the other lights actually goes back here more tucked towards the wall. So there's a little bit more room here so I can walk around to set up the camera and stuff like that. I've also been experimenting with an overhead camera rig which is something that I've really wanted to have for a long time. So I put a camera up here and I'm just going to be testing it out to see if it's something that's gonna work or not. I honestly have no idea. I've gotta move this light a little bit back there where the current one is. And I still haven't even brought the new monitors in yet because again, I have just been doing lots of testing. All right, all right, the camera is back in here. As you can see, the DSLR is set up with all the attachments, the new, or my, well, I guess my monitor is now in here um, and it's ready to get connected. I just haven't done it yet. And then of course I've got the tablet here, which I am just making sure that the new camera set up, the lighting's good because I did adjust them just a little bit. I know nothing about lighting. So if somebody does, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. It's looking pretty cool. I am very happy with this setup so far. As you can see down here, there's a lot more free, you know, free floor space. So I think it's going to look good. And now I just got to put everything kind of back together because it is a huge mess. We're here, we're back. And as you can see, the TV and the screen is now set up. I can still control myself from this monitor here, but it's looking incredible. I'm honestly very happy with how this has turned out so far. It looks pretty, pretty good back here. You can see the back of my head, which is pretty cool, but really excited with it. And I think the progress has been very good. All right, very happy with this now. I spent some time last night just cleaning it up, tidying the wires and everything like that. I love where the monitor is right now. I love the placement of the lights. 
This, maybe you'll see this in a video, maybe not. I still have to work on that a little bit more. I need a power cord just because it doesn't reach all the way down. But I've done some cable management and everything. I've even got a laptop charger here now, which is important. I used to only have the laptop charger in my Brooklyn store room and would have to move it out. But I do want to do live streams, so that's why everything's kind of ready here. And I've put all the cords and everything, so the tablet's charging because... There's nothing worse than when I go to film a video and the tablet's dead because this cord just connects to the camera. And then I've got the audio and everything's all set up on this tripod here because this is the tripod I always use for that the one shot. Yeah, it's, it is looking good. I've got to put those monitors in storage because I don't need them now. And then I also set up my slider right here because I want to do more professional shots. Like I want to take my YouTube channel a little bit better than it has been recently and I've got this slider so I want it out and I want to use it uh, but because it is and I remember now this is why I stopped using it is because the minimum it can be is a little little high still for the table it really you look down at it and you see when I turn the camera on you can see the shot um, that's not always the shot you want to get and sometimes you want to have face down or something or like straight on so I've actually got these table uh, uh, height what, table risers, that's what they're called. I've got these and I'm gonna put them under the legs on this white table, which will actually bring it up a little bit higher, which makes sense. Um, it doesn't really matter, but it's gonna be good. The only thing is now I have to readjust the white backdrop, which I just put there um, two days ago. So I just gotta fix that now, but it will look much better once that's all said and done. All right, yes, this looks way better now that this is flat. So it'll make the shooting just 10 to 10 better. It looks great. Uh, it wasn't too much work and I just obviously had to move the tape up a little. So I am very happy with how this looks. I'm going to keep it just like the way it is right now and also extremely happy with how this looks. I originally thought I might do some other work to the Lego room in this video um, because I need to tidy up, move some tables around and stuff like that. But because I spent so much time reworking the studio, I'm probably just going to wrap up the video here. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of behind the scenes about how I reworked uh, the side of my studio here to make it better for filming. And of course, adding that brand new monitor that I'm really excited about because it looks epic. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video.